Hi, Seals Pantera, Inner Fetish. And um, there's way too many anime figures here, but I had to move that to install the mini split in the guest rooms. There's a whole thing going on. Excuse me. Um, these aren't out yet. These are the Timeless 2s. And you see that? That's the breaking sun because I got up at 4.30 in the morning. I'm like, shit, today's work day. So let's go grab something. And I grabbed it randomly off the shelf, but this attracted my eye. This is the case for the Timeless 2. Now, if you don't know my history with 7 Hertz, and specifically the... T well, let's go 7 Hertz. 7 Hertz Timeless was the be-all, end-all I am. And then 7 Hertz came out with a couple other things that I fucking hated. And then came out the 7 Hertz Timeless AE, and I'm like, oh, they're back. We're fucking back. We're back in it. And I loved them. And then only like six, has it been six months? Has it been six years? I don't know, my brain's all fucked. We're out with the Timeless 2 with the sparkly letters for the name. And I have no idea how much that cost. I'm sure someone mentioned it. One of the, whoever sent it to me mentioned it. But if we look, it says $1. If you reserve for a dollar, you get $10 off. $10 off what? So, um, the original Timeless, still $200. Timeless AE, $260. Now, if that's the plan, if they have $200 for the OG and $260 for the, the new and improved, and this is supposed to be the newest and the improvest, $300? We're going to say $300. I'm going to just guess $300. We'll find out. Patrons, you're all seeing this video way early, um, so it'll probably still not be available for you. But um, when it comes out live, we'll see how wrong Zeos is. Um, I'm going to have to stop the camera in a bit because I've been testing. If you notice, I'm on my phone and not usually on my phone. Usually the computer plays through all the different various amps. Problem is the Singzer SA1 sounds wholly and completely different than all the other amplifiers, which is weird because like the Rebel amp, my God, they're that's unstable. The Rebel Amp and the uh, P2 from VMV, and you'd think that like the DeArt Aquila 3 would have like a different sound. Sounds the same, sounds the same, sounds the same. Sounds better, warmer through the Singzer. So I'm like, fuck it, going off my phone. Because that's a consistently meh headphone output. And I'll see if I love or hate him on the phone. So I need a consistent amp, so that's why we're listening to the Cowboy Bebop OST on the phone. We're also listening with the stock installed nozzles. And for the first time in a long time, something innovative or stupid is happening. Um, this is a normal nozzle. I haven't tried it yet. And here's another version of the nozzle that's on it. it it's got no hole on the top. It's, 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 a, it's a fucking penis head with vents on the side. I'm sure there's another way to describe it. A point. It looks like a little fucking 177, uh, you know, air pistol round with vent holes shooting sideways. Now, the ones that are on it, and I'm not using the stock tips, by the way. We'll talk about that in a second. The ones that are on it are like a brass with very small side firing holes. And the alternatives are a stainless steel with very large side firing holes or brass with the top and it has a little flower on top of it Ooh, and i haven't tried those yet but i'm going to tell you here's what they look like by the way uh carbon fiber probably real because fuck it um metal around the outside very very big it's round it's a perfect circle i respect that i don't respect mmcx which is what we're using for the wire um the wire itself is a four wire ribbon so we actually get the, the the raw ribbon with this like 1980s connector on it. That's like, wow, look, look how cool we are with this. With the, ooh. And I don't hate ribbons. I actually like ribbons. I just feel like this is a little bit stiffer than I'd like. Like, I really like the one that came with the Thyodio Ghost or the headphone. But that's a headphone and this is an IEM. So there's a little, it's got to carry itself different. You have to interact with the wire a little different. A um, little slider thing that should keep everything... Like when you pull it down, like that happens. You have to like straighten it out. It's also brown. Brown. It's a brown wire. I don't know. I don't know what's what's seven hertz is like. Brown. Make it brown. 
mellow down, make it brown. So let's let's talk about my initial listening impressions. Because I've just been sitting down here for like 35, 40 minutes. Just just let's try all the different amps to put on this. And then like this song comes on. And it's super fucking chill from Cowboy Bebop. And with these current nozzles on, I'm using Duno SS tips because they fit, uh, chill. These are extremely wide sounding. I'm wondering how much the nozzle is going to affect that. I'm actually going to go from the small pokey nozzle to the brass flat nozzle like this, like a standard design, something a little more normal. We'll keep consistent on the tips I'm using. Oh, here, I'll show you the tips that they come with. Green bag. It's this fucking smorgasbord. It's like they didn't know what to include, so they just went to like random bins and were just like, I don't fucking know colors. Like there's one set of these, which I had on it and they didn't fit my ears right. Then there's the, bl the, bl the balls, they're blue. And then there's those other yellow ones and there's some clear ones. No foams. I'm going to have to try. When I, when I eventually figure out which nozzle I like the best, I'll try the different various things, which means I should probably stop this so this isn't a 25 minute long video and try different nozzles and then come back and give you the full report. Right? You can see how much the sun will rise by then. I'll clear up this fucking desk. Gonna come, I'm just gonna come right back. I put the normal nozzles on, the actual, like the flower, forward firing ones, and immediately, I don't wanna say sound stage collapse, but instead of being out here, the music is now here. And it's fucking clean. I'm listen, listening to Luca Stracnoli, which is basically guitar. And I could hear him breathing, like loudly, like holy shit! I don't, I don't remember him breathing this loudly. So either this is the greatest detailing I am of all fucking time, or I wanted to give you this like impression. If this would, if this would have been the stock tip, these would have immediately been put on and been like, ah, oh, fucking great. You know, what? let's try a, a different amp. Where'd my quarter inch adapter go? It's still stuck on the Rebel Amp. These are all gonna fall down. Ooh, the bass increased too. There was bass with the other nozzles, but now there's bass. God, these are clear as fuck. Aggressively clear, but not like treble sibling. Like I'm not getting anything that's like, oh, that's a negative. Okay, Devil Swordsman from the Ninja Scroll soundtrack starts with like a one of those ancient Japanese like string instruments. It's like fucking brown. It's like violently aggressive. Holy shit. These are a fucking winner with this with this with this nozzle. I'm gonna go to the last nozzle before I lose the energy to even attempt it. And I'm gonna try the large side firing nozzle because if I can get the base presence that the, oh, holy fuck. Uh, you, can, uh, uh, you can't see my mouth gaping until I take the camera off, but it's like, I'm listening to this. You can read that. And there's some Japanese taiko drums, and that is the best I've ever heard them on an IEM. I am actually like, Jesus, fuck. All right, I'm gonna pause this and then um, try the last, I'm gonna pause the song so I can continue with the other thing, I gotta try. Okay, so I put the other tips on, same exact song. I'm coming back a minute, nine seconds into changing the tips and while there's still like this giant presence and amazing staging, the lack of, of, I don't know what it is, like a lack of detail, that incredible detail that the normal-ish tips give you, that's the thing. We went from this tip, which is a little small, this was chill and relaxed, and I was going to give these like, oh, they're good, they're, they're a thumbs up. And if I were to switch to these next... I would have been like, oh, even bigger thumbs up because now we've got more bass presence that holes larger. Everyone likes bigger holes. 
please stop. Um, and it's like, we're, we got this, this sound stage. It's like, we're pushed back. I'm in this space. But those normal fucking tips on it, they put it up in, in the rankings of other otherworldly shit. And the thing is, I like all three of them. These were the chillest and most relaxed. The ones that are in it now with the big holes are giving me like, the, I'm going to change a couple tracks. Oh, I don't like that much that one as much. Hold on. Afro Samurai theme. Yeah, it sounds like... Here's what it sounds like. Instead of having a hole that is shooting through, it sounds like it's shooting into the top of a metal thing and sideways. So, I'm look, I'm all for this as an experiment. These, like, weird tips. But... It's not killing the highs. Like, I still hear it. It's doing weird things. The sounds are in weird places that I like. But if I, if I would have gone to those last, it would have been the ultimate crescendo. But since I went to those second, I am disappointed with these. But with these tips. You know what? No, I'm not. These are fucking great. All right, look. You're going to buy these. Straight up. $300, I'm assuming 300, three, I would accept $324. That's as high as I can charge it. I wanna hear no fucking word about it. You give me who sound with a nice little seven hertz thing, you get to charge $320. If it's less than that, fuck. If it literally just replaces the AE at 260, th this will replace most IMs under five, $600. Just because you get, like, here's the thing. Usually when I change nozzles, it's a slight bass boost or a slight treble boost. It does something little and, and, and ooh, like, 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 fuck that. This is a complete sound change, different IEM I'm wearing. Everything definitely sounds far away. Very centered on Dick Tracy's crime spree. I, I... Honestly, when this review is done, which reviews tend to end, and then I tend to take the picture of the IM and then throw it in the fucking box and I'm done, or throw it in the yard sale pile and I'm done, I'm going to have to spend time. I probably wouldn't put back the OG nozzles, the little tiny ones. These are the ones that stock come with it, come on it. And it's they're probably the least impressive of the bunch. They're very smooth. They're very distant. Everything is just, ooh, we're in we're music now. Ooh, what a pretty sunset. Front sunrise. That's what it is. Rise. Those are what you're going to assess them with. The normal tips. Just, just let this driver fucking loose in your eyes. Base response. Just to clarity. Clarity for a 14 millimeter planar. Clar I didn't even try tips yet. So, all right. You know what? I'll try the... Oh, real quick. Real quick. I'll try different tips on this nozzle to see if it changes. We'll put some Dakoni foams on there. Because I don't know how it's going to work. Ooh. I don't know how that's going to work. What the hell is that? Wait a second. Did I steal? Oh, I stole the thing. I stole the thing. This is the, the, the vent nozzle from... No? What was the last IM I did? I lost a, a vent nozzle. Sheet. The ovoid ones. All right, we'll have to deal with that. I'm stuck in the tip. I hate when that happens. Don't you hate when it gets stuck in the tip? I was like, why does that not look right? All right. So now these, that's another thing. The, the set that was on it, this one has a very wide thing. Because when you're shooting sideways, if it squeezes over the hole, you're fucked. Stop taking these statements out of context. Ooh, oh, no. Unless that's the song. All right, now it sounds like an AM radio. <laughs> it sounds like an AM radio. Oh, wow. Okay, the tips, those fucked it up. Because the Tony tips have a, a tighter fucking hole. Oh, man. There's, like, not even any bass. How did it do that? It's just literally blocking. I just... All right, one more. This is fun now. I don't care if this is a 25-minute 
long. We'll do my uh, render tips because these have a pretty large nozzle. But you see how it's gonna? It's got to go in there, and it's got to still work. It's got to shoot sideways. Uh, pause. Change tracks. Pause. I don't like putting IMs in my ears playing. I feel like that ruins it because you start hearing it, and then it's not quite fully seated in form. So now it's seated. There's the bass. Flowbots. Wait, let it let the song kick. Kick, baby, kick. Oh my god, the bass. Well, if you're the bass head, grab render tips. Very similar to what I was hearing with the Dunu SS. So at least you can get super ceiling foams, AKA the renders. Still got the sound stage. It's not mild. I don't want to say it's lacking in detail. It is only lacking compared to that fucking nozzle. All right, I'm shutting this off and putting that back on. Hold on. Um, Prodigy Rhythm Bomb, the Flux Pavilion mix. From the day is my enemy. Wow. Yeah, no, just I'm I, I'm super happy that they tried this. This is a great little experiment. I love to try these on different IMs. They really do something impressive. And I would have recommended these IMs had these been the only things that came with it. Fuck it. I put my render tips on the nozzles, on the normal nozzles, and it is a fucking party in my brain. The bass intensity, the staging, the detail. This is. I didn't think that you get timeless and then timeless AE and then you got to go up, up from there. Where do you go? You go here. It sounds like I'm sitting inside Bucard A700s at a dance party. And you know what? They're running off the Adam 2, Adam Amp 2, a low gain. They're real efficient. They're like real efficient. I'll put the high gain on. Hold on. Oh, you could kill yourself with these. Oh my foot. I. That's just, that's, that's. I didn't even have coffee. This, this sounds like I had four cups of coffee. It's that intense. You know what? Uh, normally on a headphone and an IM, I like a little more chill and relaxed. Pick your poison. These are, are just like, these are fucking screaming into my fucking brain. Like, do you hear the sound? Do you hear the energy in the fucking music? It's the best planar I am I've ever listened to. If I had to denote into like a smaller category, because I'm like, Zeus, you think everything's the best. Well, all right, fuck you then. This is the best round I am that happens to be a planar. Oh. There's so much going on. I'm just listening to Durarara, and it's just, there's so much going on in this fucking track. I'm just gonna... Yeah, no, buy these IMs. Fuck this. Holy shit. Planetaeus, make your canvas. I'm, you know what? I want to watch a movie in these. I want to play a video game in these. These are do these are doing shit to sound aggressively <laughs> that I'm enjoying it. Um, and they don't even seem to give a shit. Let's plug it into the. Uh, just I'm personally, please don't fall down. She's on. I had to put like blue tack on her heels because she'll flop down because her dress weighs like a million pounds. The last thing is the Singer that sounded different. Sorry for the 30 minute IM review, but of all the IMs I've done in the last like two weeks, this is the only one that fucking matters. Wow. Oh, Lindsay Sterling, Transcendence. Like it's not vibrating my ears, it just feels like I'm in a room with bass. How does that happen? Anyway, thanks for supporting this channel. Patreon and subscribe star.
Uh, yet another I am that's not going to leave my god. I could... Fuck. P Patriots, Stop, Sky, Wallpaper, Horde, Girls, Amps, Deathmat. Fuck. I'm, 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 